Hi, my name's Jadel. <laughs> What's up? Yesterday, finally came back and a lot of you requested story time video, so why not do a story time video? I actually have a pretty good story because of yesterday, so I'm sure most of you noticed I drank a lot of hot sauce yesterday. Fatality. You know what they say, like when you eat a pepper, you're gonna feel it next time you go to the bathroom and stuff? Well, yeah, I definitely felt that hot sauce. I was at lunch with my family and all of a sudden I just start feeling really, really, really sick. like. I don't know what to do. So I go to the bathroom and I don't see it. So I'm like, where's the bathroom? She's like straight ahead. So I look ahead and I see like the big freezer room, you know, they have in all the restaurants, like that giant ass freezer room. I'm like, that's not it. I'm like, where is it? She's like, oh, over there. Their bathroom was like in the kitchen. So I had to walk past all the chefs and stuff to get to this bathroom. And it's, you know, it's one of those tiny bathrooms. It's one of those toilets that's a little too small. So like, you know, I had to go uh, num numero dos because of that hot sauce. Watch this go, watch this go, baby. Hey. So anyway, <laughs> so I'm going and it's, you know, it's a pretty loud session. You know, most people, you know, you don't want to go to the public restroom because it's a pretty loud session, but that was a definitely a louder session. I'll say that for sure. Kind of like takes me a while. And then I'm like, oh man, like I got to make sure I don't overfill this because this is already embarrassing enough. You know, I'm being pretty loud, being, being pretty loud in here. Don't want to uh, disturb the chef so they're making my pasta. You know what I'm saying? Never disturb a chef when he's making your pasta. That's like rule number one of going out to eat. So like I awkwardly kind of like creep out. It was so embarrassing. Like I walk out of the bathroom when I'm done after for like 15 minutes of trying to you know be quiet and all that good stuff i'm like walking past the chefs and i'm so embarrassed i just have my head down the whole time when i'm walking away from the bathroom through this kitchen i'm just like head down i don't want anyone to see me and honestly for the rest of the day yesterday i had to deal with hot sauce number twos honestly i can't think of a worse experience going to the bathroom than hot sauce number twos obviously you know getting sick throwing up that's that's not a fun time but hot sauce number twos Woo. All right, so short story aside, let's do the real story here. So I'm sure some of you may or may not, oh, I should have scored that, may or may not know. Me and my brother and my whole family are New York Giants fans and we live in California. So, you know, we only get to really watch them on TV. So a few times though, they came to play the Seahawks and the Niners for away games and we get to go see them. And every time we've done that, we've had a weird experience with a drunk fan for either a Seahawks fan or a Niners fan. We'll start with the Seahawks because that came first. So so not really much happened at the Seahawks game. This was before the Seahawks were good and the Giants were actually pretty good in 2010, even though they didn't make the playoffs, they were 10 and six. And we crushed the Seahawks. So the game itself wasn't really much of a story. We just kind of kicked their ass. But before we went to the game, we're walking to the game and we walk by this bar and my little brother, Jesse, as you all know him, is wearing a Eli Manning jersey. And there's this drunk Seahawks fan and he goes, Eli Manning can eat my asshole. And we're like, bruh. The kid's like 10. Seahawks fans, I don't know. You know, the Seahawks fans get a great rep for being like the 12th man and all that. But that game, as I said, where we blew them out, they all left by like the second quarter. There were way more Giants fans than Seahawks fans there. And the Giants played like 2,500 miles away. So Seahawks fans, y'all gotta get your shit together, apparently. And then the next game we went to away game was a Niners game. And there was a guy in the stand sitting like four seats away from us. I don't know if y'all remember the Giants used to have a kicker named Lawrence Tynes. I didn't really like Tynes that much, but you know, some people did some people didn't anyway this Niners fan was trying to get in his head all game so the whole game he's just like hey times times you suck pulled out the jerk face you know what I'm saying this went on the entire game finally like probably like third quarter Lawrence Tynes this like awkward kicker that's not even like you know he's just an average everyday kicker he's really not that you know great of an NFL player finally like looks back at the guy just to kind of see like who this guy is who's heckling him all game and the guy gets such a rouse out of it he's like oh like, I got acknowledged by this dude I've been hating on all game. Like, I don't know what his goal was. I think he was just trying to, like, get in his head so he wouldn't kick good field goals. I mean, I guess it worked. The Giants didn't win that game, but I don't think that was the reason. And eventually, he just got kicked out. Eventually, I think Tynes, like, said something to one of the Giants, like, security guards or something. Because, like, by the end of the third quarter, they were like, you need to leave, sir. Being obnoxious. That's what's kind of the funny thing about, like, professional athletes is they probably have the weirdest fan experiences with some of the people who go to these games. I remember when me and my brother went to that Clippers game that he vlogged about. Every time there was a timeout, we tried to get Blake Griffin's attention. Blake, Blake, what's up, Blake? Score that, you better score that. Oh my God, Wef. Your name Wef. I've been obsessed with the My Name Is Jeff clip. It's so funny, man. Every intro I'm just gonna do, My Name Yadel, every time. Watch this game winning goal, that's all. 
I've been getting filthy good at Rocket League, by the way. I don't know if y'all knew that. You probably wouldn't have thought that from that hoops <laughs> hoops video yesterday because I was so terrible. I mean, I've only been to one other Giants. Actually, I've been to two other Giants games. I went to a Giants preseason game with a Patriots fan, and that was when they were all getting all hyped about uh, Jimmy Garoppolo when they first got him, and he was so bad that game. The Giants won that game. But, I mean, if it's a Giants-Patriots game, I mean, I mean, you know who's going to win. The Giants are going to win that easily. Um, the other game I went to was the Dallas Cowboys-Giants game. That season, the Giants were horrendous like two or three years ago and it was so cold at MetLife Stadium you know like this thumb movement you try to like just switch your thumb back and forth I tried to do that it was like slowly even if I tried my hardest to make it move fast like I just couldn't do it it was that cold and I was wearing a long sleeve shirt a hoodie a hoodie over that and a winter coat and I was still freezing like y'all want like story time but the thing is I gotta make stories you know or not make stories I gotta oh now I got the Trump hair again god dang it I have a Google Doc where I try to write down like ideas for story videos where I'm like oh that would be a good video to do stories on because I've had a few videos where I try to record story time in the past and it record for like a minute and I say the whole story and I'm like wow I guess this is not gonna be a video. Maybe you guys can inspire me to come up with some new story video ideas. Like maybe comment, that was so weird. That like vibration. Like maybe y'all should comment ideas for story videos just cause it's like, I don't know. Oh my God, am I really gonna get this? Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh, <laughs> why do bad things happen to good people? I think I talked about most of the good ones already. Oh, good job, Whip. His name Wiff. Come on, get in there, Wiff. His name Wiff. All right, y'all. It's your dude Jidel. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace. My name Yiff. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm done.